So, I am having a chat with Blood Command. How are you both? We are bloody. That We are Blood Command, that's right. Correct. We are bloody Blood Command. <laughs> that's the answer. We are bloody fantastic and we are bloody... Command. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Great start, I love it. You're here at 2000 Trees. We are. How's it, uh, how's it been for you so far? It's been amazing. It's our third, well, my second time, but Ingvar's third time back. Yeah, it's a great festival, grown cool beans. <laughs> great. It's cool beans. It's our, second, our last time here was in 2022. And before I joined the band... In, I think, 2017, um, Blood Command were here. So mm. this is Blood Command's third time, which is a big honour. We're here. Stage. We're at the same stage. Yeah. One hour later, and that's good. Yeah, and, and more, You're not going more people. Yeah, that would, that would be a bit embarrassing. Oh, yeah. Going, yeah. You need to be down there next, though. Yes. The, is that the main stage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> next time, main stage. You hear us? Yeah. No. We're just happy to be here. It's a gorgeous day. Happy to be involved. And last time we were here, it was like 35 degrees, which is great mm. for an Australian. But sleeping in a tent, which we did last year, was not the best idea. Yeah. And yeah, so yeah. And uh, and as you've said, it's been a couple of years since you were last here, and since then you released a record. For those who've not heard it yet, tell us a bit about it. Tell you, so, uh, world domination is a really great record by the band The Blonde Command. You should check out because it's the best record you ever heard. It is. It is. It's a. It's a. It's kind of the most Blood Command record that we could release. Like, it's got a mix of everything that we wanted to put into it that is Blood Command. So it's got the pop, it's got the hardcore, it's got the disco, it's got the 80s, it's got everything that we could combine that, through Ingvar's mind and with him giving me the blessing of being able to, you know, give my input to. Therefore, it's become something that we're really proud of yeah and it's helped the band grow a lot i think yes <laughs> yeah and have Kenny you is blessing yeah. <laughs> i concur and have you guys now started writing again working towards the next release maybe we have maybe we have not he's a man of mystery <laughs> i think the 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 um, translation of that is yes, <laughs> but we're trying to be mysterious. So yes, we have. It was mysterious up until you ruined that. <laughs> so yes, we've definitely got some things in the pipeline, but we can't confirm or deny if it's going to happen. Good. You know, you, can, you you've got to be innocent and proven until you're proven guilty. And we can die tomorrow. So if we died tomorrow, it's not no one out. would ever know. <laughs> yeah, it's really not coming felt, out, yeah. exactly. We would have felt dumb then, promising a new record. And, and then we die. <laughs> I can't not stand by that. So what, what happens if you don't die? <laughs> maybe something. <laughs> maybe there'd be something new stuff. Maybe yeah. there'd be something new, but we can't <laughs> confirm or deny that either. So with the writing for you guys, how do tracks normally start off? Well, if we didn't die... We would start by Ingvar writing stuff. Me, me writing a riff and try to make that into a song. Come up with vocal ideas and then sit down with Nicky, do heaps of drugs and uh, come up with uh, the, the most cocky lyrics ever and the most sad, heartfelt lyrics ever. So we, we, get, we really get into like a headspace of like... Where would we, what do we want to say to the person who we hate the most or love the most or what we're feeling at the moment? We talk it out. Then, if we're not feeling writing, we might put on a song, like a random song, and then maybe we'll get inspiration from that song we're listening to and come up with lyrics from there. But it always starts from Ingvar writing the music first. And coming up with the the um, melodies, and then we write the lyrics together. Yeah. Movies is a big uh, part of the inspiration. What is? Movies. Movies, yes, yes, yes. Movies and other art, yeah. 
Nice, nice. And you must have some more touring coming up, I'm sure. What was your plan for doing some more shows? Well, we're going to tour this summer. We're on a tour this summer. We've got about 8,000 summer <laughs> festivals. Um, and then after that, we've got a something in the works that we can't announce yet. Um, we have festivals 2025 too, so we're probably going to we're going to stay a band out 2025 at least. Yeah. Yes, at the very <laughs> least. <laughs> Unless you unless, die. Unless, yeah, yeah, unless, unless we die, die yeah, yes. Absolutely. Um, and, and this project that you can't tell us about, are you hoping to be going to uh, back around Europe, back over here, to the States? Uh, well, all of the above and all of the above at once. We're probably going to go back to the UK and uh, mainland Europe, yeah. But nothing... Uh, we would love to go to the States, but we don't have anything uh, planned there, no. But it could happen. It might not have happen overnight, but it will happen. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> nice. Guys, it's been a pleasure. Likewise. Having a chat with you. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks so much. Yes. Thanks. Well, it was great. Bye. We're Blood Command. Nikki and Ingmar signing off. Woo!